releasing the past. Nelson Mandela said, As I walked out the door toward the gate that would lead to my freedom, I knew if I didn't leave my bitterness and hatred behind, I'd still be in prison. I was angry for a very long time that our government in the 1980s didn't respond for many years to the AIDS crisis. They should have, they could have, but they didn't. But you know what? I can hate that administration until my dying day, and it won't change the past. Some of us were angry about the lives lost in the second Iraq conflict, not believing that it was a just war. I, for one, believe that just wars are extremely rare. We may be angry with churches that terrorized us with stories of afterlife torture, that rejected us because we were gay or divorced or had made procreative choices, or maybe they refused to allow women to pursue ministry. Some of us have families that were abusive, former spouses who were unfaithful, friends who betrayed us, workplaces that proved unsafe or unfair or unreliable. Or maybe we are even angry with ourselves for choices we've made or opportunities we passed up. At some point, we have to decide that we'll never have a better past, but we do deserve a better future. And that, remain, that means releasing the past to the past, loving ourselves and moving forward. I'm Darrell Watkins, the Senior Minister of Sunshine Cathedral in Fort Lauderdale. Thank you for joining me for the Daily Reflection.